In this video, UConn is back, baby. They're back in the game. We are going to talk about it. Paige Beckers went full ham tonight. It's senior night, and we are going to break it down and what the implications are for UConn and their roster going forward in 24-25. Now, before we start, I usually ask you to like and subscribe the video. I'm not going to do, well, if you could do that, it'd be great. But really, what I'm going to tell you to do is follow my advice. In the bracket video, I gave you a tip to download a VPN and then go to Pac-12 International YouTube and watch the Pac-12 conference games. If you did not do that, then do it after this video, after you give it a like and subscribe, and go there and watch Oregon State UCLA as it is the best women's college basketball game this year. No spoilers, just go do it. All right, let's get into this now. UConn had senior night tonight and destroyed Georgetown 85-44, to but the big news was the presentation after the game which was to celebrate the graduating seniors, Nika, Aubrey, Aaliyah, and Paige. Now, when Paige Beckers was asked about this in the pregame press conference, she sort of alluded to something might be up, and sure enough, it was. But before giving the mic to Beckers, they gave it to Aubrey Griffin, who announced that she was indeed coming back in 24-25, which makes sense as it allows her to rehab from her ACL injury and then hopefully commence a pro career either in the WNBA or in Europe. And then the mic was given to Beckers and man, she should be a WWE star as she controlled the room and the message and went full on, like I said, ham, by first saying she was going to address the elephant in the room, and then with a little tea saying, unfortunately, this will not be my last senior night here at UConn. And not surprisingly, the crowd goes wild. Now, in truth, this seemed like pretty much a fait accompli, but I'm sure a UConn fan is happy to know that it is confirmed that Paige Beckers is coming back. But what are the implications for 24-25? Well, essentially, their roster is almost full as they have 15 roster spots and they have used 14 of them. So you've got Paige Beckers returning. Aubrey Griffin is confirmed. Amari DeBerry, as far as we are aware, Ennis Betancourt, AZ Fudd, Caroline Ducharme, as far as we are aware, is playing next year. KK Arnold, Ashlyn Shade, Cadence Samuels, Ice Brady, Ayana Patterson, Jana L. Alfie, Morgan Chelly, and Ali Zabel. So if you weren't doing the math, that is 14 players with one spot to go. And who will take that last spot? That is the big question for UConn fans. So assuming that those 14 return, that there are no medical retirements or transfers, that one spot in my mind is between four players, which are Nika Mule, who has a fifth COVID year available, Aaliyah Edwards, who's in the same circumstance, and then two potential recruits that UConn is going after, one being Emily Rodriguez, who reportedly had an offer from UConn, which is still up on her X account. And the other one is, you got it, Sarah Strong. So let's break down these four options. First, Nika Mule is a UConn fan favorite as she plays hard, plays hard defense. Paige Beckers calls her her sister as they are two peas in a pod. But I think if you gave most UConn fans some truth serum, I think they would not mind if Nika decided to go on and move on to the next phase of her career, which is obviously going back to Europe or potentially the WNBA. One of those two things, but going ahead and moving on and getting on with her career. And UConn fans and coaches and players can just feel real good about this saying, hey, it's so unfair these international players can't get NIL. She needs to move on to make some money. But in truth, we all know with Paige Beckers, KK Arnold, and Ashlyn Shade, this team doesn't need a fourth point guard. Now, Nika Mule's parents were at the presentation, and she seemed emotional. So I don't have any inside knowledge or anything, but it definitely seems like 
she is or likely playing her last year at UConn. The other potential returning senior is Aaliyah Edwards, and for all money, it definitely seems like she is going to, but there's been nothing official. But it's been one of those things. You've had four healthy years at UConn. It's time to get on with your professional career. And I think that's how Gina Oriema is trying to sell it. As I, I heard him in one of the press conferences mention how Paige and Aubrey had lost a year of their four years there at UConn. And it seemed, you know, he would he would understand why they would want to return to to get a four-year playing career at UConn. And obviously, there's a bit of self-interest in that, especially with Paige Beckers. Now, with all that being said, I'm sure if Aaliyah Edwards wants to return for a fifth year, UConn Nation and Gina Oriema are more than happy to have her back. Now, if Aaliyah and Nika go, then really it's down to recruits coming in and they're two on the table for UConn. As they have offers out for Emily Rodriguez, who's down in Miami. She's like a wing point guard. She she has a decent handle and sort of a slasher. And then obviously the other one is number one recruit, Sarah Strong. Now I wonder how this works. So if Strong commits, do they withdraw the offer? Is it like first come, first serve? And if Emily Rodriguez says, yep, I want to come to UConn, does UConn slow play that? and say, oh, we'll, we'll just see, we'll wait to see what Sarah's going to do. And then if she says no, we'll give it to you. Who knows? And speaking of who knows, nobody knows where Sarah Strong's going. It is all speculation. NC State could say, hey, we have the inside track. Her dad went to our school, and it's just a matter of time. She doesn't want to leave close to home. South Carolina could say, hey, Dawn Staley played in the WNBA with her mom. They have the inside track as well. The other rumor is, is that Sarah Strong was waiting for Paige Beckers to commit coming back next year. And that would be the impetus for Sarah Strong committing to UConn as she could be the hero coming to UConn, helping Paige Beckers the other UConn legend to get over the hump and win her championship and then would be in line to be the next UConn legend going forward, hanging up banners. Now, no doubt, South Carolina, NC State, and LSU. I forgot to mention you earlier, LSU, and you're Gary Reedus getting her to come there by his special link to recruits. Those fans would be rubbishing that. Nope, she's coming to our school, and who knows, but that is the UConn dream right there. And that UConn dream scenario has achieved step one, which is Paige Becker's returning it and running it back with Aubrey Griffin. Step two would be signing Sarah Strong, the number one recruit in the nation which would likely leapfrog UConn into the number one recruiting class in the nation with her, Morgan Chelly, and Ali Zabel. But then step three needs to happen, and they haven't been able to do step three in a number of years. They would need to be healthy for once and all going into a season and throughout the season. That means having a healthy FUD, Griffin, Beckers, and everybody else. And being the team that everybody thought they would be, it would be a fun story for next year. I'm curious to see if it happens. Please like and subscribe. Go watch that game, Oregon State versus UCLA. You won't regret it. Good night.